What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm about to get my morning started. I already worked out, put a little makeup on, changed, but as you can tell, my hair is looking... I don't know what it's doing. It's a hit or miss when you decide to let your hair air dry. It's either going to air dry beautifully or not. For the longest time, I would just kind of like throw in the towel and wash my hair. If I woke up and it didn't look good, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna wash it and style it like I normally do. Um, and then on the rare occasion when it does look good, I'm like, yes, I'm gonna rock this as long as I can. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like post-workout, post-sweaty workout. You can see some hair is curly, some hair... Here's my co-star today. Anyway, you can see some pieces. I'm, I mean, I just, I don't know what it's doing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm able now to revive my curls slash waves with the Dyson Airwrap. As you guys know, I got to go to um, London for the launch of this product. I got to see it before anyone else, try it before anyone else. I would like to say a huge thank you to Dyson because a lot of their items have really truly changed or have made my life a lot easier. Um, it all started with the vacuum that I purchased myself. The Dyson V8, I think um, I'm doing this whole video intro with like weird looking hair, but anyway. I bought the V8 vacuum, loved it. I have two Huskies, this is my baby Boomer. He's only um, five months and gigantic. Mika is my older Husky, she's six years old. They shed a lot, so I bought that vacuum, game changer. Um, then I started working with Dyson and they were like, oh no you can't have the V8, you need the V10. So they upgraded me with the V10, then came along the Dyson humidifier. This is the Dyson humidifier. I need it now in my life because of um, my recent eczema outbreak. My skin is really dry. It's really good to sleep at night with a humidifier. It really uh, increases the hydration in your skin. Over here, I also have the Dyson air purifier. Uh, this is really important if you live in LA because we constantly have horrible air quality, it's filled with pollution, Kyle has a ton of allergies, and this really helps. It also warns you when the air quality is bad. So yeah, I guess you could say I am a true believer in Dyson products, and the air app is something that has allowed me to rock my natural hair. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to fire the co-host. He wasn't cooperating. But what I was trying to say is that the Airwrap is a tool that has allowed me to wear my natural hair more often because it allows me to actually enhance or fix the curl and wave pattern if it doesn't form when I fall asleep with my hair wet or let it air dry and it doesn't look the way I want it to. And again, if you have my hair texture, you know what I'm talking about. It is a struggle. And when people ask me like, Melissa, why don't you wear your natural hair? It's so beautiful. Um, it's not that I don't love my hair, you guys. I love my hair texture. I love my hair in general. But it's, like I said, it's a hit or miss. Some days it looks good and some days I look like a freaking poodle. So, um, let's get into this tutorial. It's super quick and easy. And that's why I love this tool. It comes with a variety of different pieces. For today, I'm gonna go with the smaller barrel. And I actually um, have gotten so handy with this tool that I can use just the one barrel. Um, if you guys can see right here, there are a set of arrows along the middle of the barrel and those arrows are there to indicate what direction the wind flow is going in. So it uses a kowando, I hope I'm saying that right, kowando effect, <laughs> which means the air is going in a circular motion, which um, will wrap the hair around the various tools without it getting tangled. Um, when you see people use this tool, it looks like they're physically wrapping or rolling this up or like this is physically rolling the hair up, but it's not, it's actually the wind. Um, so the barrels, there's two sets for each size and one goes in one direction, the other goes in the other direction, but like I said, I've gotten really handy where I can just use the one barrel um, and not have to swap them out because I do like to alternate the waves. And I'm not gonna lie, it would be a little annoying to constantly swap out each barrel every time you're alternating the waves. Um, it's obviously great if you're gonna do this side going in one direction and this side going in the other direction, but if you like to alternate, I'm gonna show you guys how. So here is the base of the air app. You're just gonna pop on whichever tool you're gonna use up top. And like I said, your hair has to be moist. So 
This is where I absolutely love this because normally I would hop in the shower, completely rewash my hair, and then hope for the best if I'm trying to still let it air dry. But in this case, I can just take some water, mist my hair, and refine my curls and waves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mist this side. And you don't want it to be soaking wet, you just want it to be damp. I don't even know how you got back in here. How'd you get back in here? We'll let you back in. So now that I've misted my hair, it's nice and moist or nice and damp. Moist, it's nice and moist. I'm going to take a little bit of product. I am still loving the Frizz Dismiss Rebel Tame Leave-In Smoothing Control Cream Plus Heat Protectant. So what I do with this is I take a small amount, not a large amount because you also don't want to weigh your hair down. So take a small amount like that. And I'm going to just glide it all over my hair or work it into all of my hair, everything that is currently moist. All right, so now we're ready to go in with the air wrap. And this hairstyle, you guys, takes, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes to touch up because your hair has already air dried overnight. Um, again, this is not like um, soaking wet out of the shower because, <laughs> let's be realistic, my hair soaking wet out of the shower does not take five minutes to style, but once it's been air dried, um, or if I've slept in it, which I don't recommend sleeping with wet hair, but you know, sometimes you're tired and you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this is a great way to touch up your hair and then head out the door in like five, 10 minutes. Um, so again, pay attention to the arrows. The direction that the arrows are going is the direction that the air is going. So I still like to alternate my waves to have more of that natural tousled beachy effect, but the hair that frames the face will always go away from the face. I see Boomer Amika's fur flying around. You're gonna pay attention to the arrows. They're going in this direction, so I'm gonna start like this. I'm gonna wrap the hair around and then turn on the air wrap. So you only hold it for, you know, a couple of seconds so you feel that it's dry. You make sure you hit the cool shot button to lock in that curler wave in place and turn it off. And then this is the finish that you get just like that. See that? And you wanna leave it like that, don't touch it just yet. And uh, we're gonna continue doing the rest of the hair. If it starts to dry as you're styling your hair, you have your uh, bottle of water, you just give it another mist. That happens to me because sometimes I get distracted, <laughs> get on Instagram, and all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, my hair feels a little dry. Um, but again, this is framing the face, so we're gonna go in this direction, turn it on. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it if you want it to go the other direction without, ooh, hair flake. I hope that wasn't there this entire time. If you want the wave to go in the other direction, but you don't wanna swap out the barrel because that could add time to this quick and effortless look. Okay, so to go in the opposite direction, you start at the bottom and hold it facing upwards like this, and you're gonna wrap it up just like that, and again, turn it on. And now you have one going towards the face. And then as I finish these pieces, I just kind of move them forward. And I'm just gonna continue doing that um, all through this side and then I'll come back for this side just in case I need to um, show you guys again how to flip the barrel when working with this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this and then I'll come back to show you guys this side. Okay, this side is done. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit. You don't wanna undo it. Even though we use the cool shot button, technically you could, but I like to just let it sit for a moment while I work on the other side. And still the same barrel, I didn't swap it out. We're gonna go in this direction. Again, um, hair framing the face, going away from the face. Sometimes if it grabs all those hairs, I kinda just like let it do its thing and I'll just let it grab them and then do this. But you'll see it'll be more of a curl versus like this way you know, where the end is straight. See that? <laughs> All I do is I kind of just like pull the ends instead of, you know how this side I said don't touch it. Um, if you get like a really curly piece because the air wrap grabbed all those additional pieces, I just kind of pull it like this and it's still gonna give like this beautiful curly slash wavy, again, like a very natural finish. It actually gives more of that 
naturally air dried effect because my hair, like I said, some pieces are curlier than others, some are wavy, some are straight. So it still ends up looking really good and it gives you a ton of volume. And then sometimes if I need to, I'll take one of these clips and hold back some of my hair because I'm usually a lot better at my <laughs> at this side than this side. So the clips come in handy if you struggle a bit. Do it one more time. And that's the great thing about this tool too. If you mess up, you're not locked into the style. You just have to re-wet it and then do it again. And it's like brand new. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to flip it and reverse it in the famous words of Missy Elliott. Oh my God, if you guys are younger than me, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. That's the sad thing. <laughs> so it's facing downward this time and then we're gonna wrap like so. Again, keeping it really tight at the roots to get that nice lift and that volume. And we can turn it on. There you go. All right, so I think you guys get the point now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and then come back to show you the final result. And for the grand finale, he's unfortunately back. <laughs> I just like to sort of swish the hair back and forth, run my fingers through my hair to separate um, some of the waves and curls that are kind of pieced together. And then my secret weapon is a finishing cream. I found a new one that I really, really love. And my dear friend, Larry King, um, he is also a Dyson ambassador and he launched his own brand. And when I saw him come out with this product, it's called Social Life for Your Hair. I was like, I need this because I love finishing creams. I love the one from The Way and I wanted to try something new. And this one is incredible. It smells so, so good. And essentially what a finishing cream does is it just, does exactly that. It gives the final touches to the hair, smooths everything out, flyaways. Um, it creates a really nice texture on the ends. So with this product, I take a small amount like so. That's even kind of a lot. I work it between the palms of my hands and then run it through the ends. And if I have flyaways or baby hairs that are out of control, I tend to smooth those out with the finishing cream. And it doesn't leave your hair feeling like it has a lot of product in it. But there you guys have it. That is a wrap, pun intended, on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything down below as well as other product recommendations. And uh, like always, um, give this video a like, share it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.